What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, thanks to the guys at eArmor, we are taking a look at their new GB3466 WQSU. It's a 34 inch ultra wide gaming monitor. So, like I said, eArmor sent this over for me to have a look at. It's one of their new 34 inch ultra wide, it's a curved monitor, okay? And, uh, well, I'll start off by saying I was quite impressed. Here in the UK, this is 430 pounds which we'll get a bit onto the pricing later, but competitively priced. So it's it's a well-priced 34 inch gaming monitor. We'll start off by getting into the tech specs. So this is a VA paneled monitor. It has a resolution of 3440 by 1440. It's actually a 144 hertz screen. It does support AMD's FreeSync. It's premium pro this time. So it's the, the top spec of AMD's FreeSync compatible monitors. It will work on NVIDIA graphics cards though, a new thing they did implement a little while ago. And this is also a HDR screen. So a few other little inf bits of information for you. So being a HDR 400 screen, it does have a contrast ratio or brightness, should I say, of 400 nits. It has a static contrast of 3000 to one and a one millisecond response time. Like I said, this is a VA panel, not IPS. But I did find the colours on it were actually really impressive. Um, I just got a demo playing here of the new Halo. Um, and actually gaming on this, I've been playing with a whopping great big 40 inch standard sized 4K screen. This I actually found was a lot more immersive. Now I did have a, a 34 inch flat Iliama monitor a little while ago, one of their pro light screens. This one is obviously better specced. Um, Similar sort of money actually, but it's got a really nice curve to it. It's a 1500 arc curve, so it's slightly more curved than the 32 inch that I reviewed a little while ago. But I found actually that 34 inch 1500 arc curve makes it really immersive. You can you do have to sit a bit closer than I'm used to. I, like I said, I have a massive screen. This you do find you sit a little bit closer to it but it's got the resolution to allow you to do that. And just sitting that little bit closer makes it so immersive. It's a really, really nice monitor to game on. Um, that's pretty much it for the tech specs. It's got your usual um, inputs. Um, we'll take a look at those a little bit later on. So let's take a look at the physical monitor. So as I said, 34 inch ultra wide, pretty standard now. They're getting pretty common, especially with gamers. It does have a nice thin actual bezel around the screen, but there is a, a slightly wider black bar. It's got a little chin. Iliama seems to be quite fond of their chins. It's got a nice decent stand on it. It's a cast aluminium with a, a vertical here at the back. The stand doesn't stick out too far from the front of the screen either. Um, I did review an MSI one a while ago. And the, the stand was like way out here. The stand took up half of your desk. This thing, yes, the stand's relatively big, but it is a big screen. It's not out of proportion. So the actual stand has only really got one feature though. The only, well, two. We, we've got two adjustments. We do have some vertical up and downy, and we can tilt forwards, up and down. It doesn't tilt down much, uh, but then you're not really meant to have this. You're better off lowering it, yeah, and then having it you want it obviously relatively flat to your face so you don't get any strange colors. But we've got a decent amount of height adjustment. So if you've got a low shelf, you can you can drop it down or anything like that. It doesn't have any options for tilting, um, swiveling, should I say. It's a 34 inch ultra wide. You're never gonna get it high enough to get it rotated. Uh, the stand is a standard 100 mil visa mount. I will show you a little bit about that later. Now, so putting this thing together though, was really simple. The stand has got a little thumb screw. You just do that up by hand, job done. Then the mount just screws in. They even give you a really cheap little Phillips screwdriver, should you really not have a Phillips screwdriver. Um, screw it to the back of the monitor. What I did, led the monitor down on its front. I actually left it in the box to do it. Um, the, the box is shaped to support the screen. So I just took the sort of like the top polystyrene off, left it led down, popped the monitor on, put the four screws in. Really simple. It does come with a good selection of cables. It came with a HDMI, a display port, a power cable, and a USB cable as well. So that's pretty much it for the outside of this screen. Like I said, it's got lovely colors. Um, 
it does have a few an on-screen menu with a, a little joystick down here um, with the option of going through a few different menus uh, one thing I did note was it this screen yes so if you wish to enable HDR on your PC you will need to go to the image adjust and you can either have this off on or auto so if it detects a HDR signal from your computer it will automatically change to it um, free sync as well you do manually turn on and off but I first I, I enabled HDR mode and I'm like oh, that looks really wishy-washy enable HDR mode on your screen as well default was off um, if you wish to quickly change between inputs simply push the little joystick away from you and you can scroll through them either manually choose one or leave it on auto okay uh, left and right you do have speakers built into this so if you push to your right you get volume uh, the speakers on it typical monitor not great wouldn't bother using them either sit fit a set of speakers or use a decent headset when that goes away come on if you push it pull it towards you you do get the main screen and going to the left does nothing um, turning it on and off is a case of pressing and holding the button so we will unplug that and let's flip it over and take a quick look at the back so as I mentioned although this is a gaming monitor it doesn't scream gaming at you the back of this is actually completely plain there's just a grill across the top there for some ventilation a bit of Iliama branding and a bit of G Master branding um, I will lay this down on its front so that you guys can see the inputs and all that lot so here we do have our selection of inputs our power a few bits like that so here we have Power inputs takes a standard kettle lead, so no external power brick this time. Great to see. Uh, we do also have a USB hub, a USB 3 cable supplied. We've got a headphone jack. Should you supply your audio to your screen via the HDMI, you can then plug headphones the head to this, should you wish to do it that way. Um, we've then got a pair of HDMIs and a pair of display ports. Overall, a really nice monitor. There is also Kensington Locket. It's a way back to Iliama's pro range and how they are mainly business monitor people. Kensington Lock, so use in say like an eSports center, you can lock it to the desk or take it to a LAN. You can lock it to the desk. So there we go. That's pretty much it for the Iliama. Um, this is, like I said, this is the GB3466 uh, WQSU. Iliama always have really confusing names to try and remember. Um, overall, I was really impressed with it. It does have a price point of £430, which is it is definitely at the lower end of the market, but these prices of things are dropping. But at £430 at the moment, basically makes it one of the cheapest uh, high-spec 34-inch Ultraroids from a named brand. You can get a couple of sort of no-name ones for the 300 ish You can get a few 34-inch non-gaming monitors, so they've just got sort of like 60 hertz, things like that. But if you're looking for a 34 inch ultra wide with a high refresh rate uh, that also supports HDR so it is also handy if you're a gamer that does a bit of video edit editing or a bit of photoshopping it is a HDR screen it does offer really good coloring as well I had a few play arounds the modes I'm not a massive fan of them I find the game mode for example they just boost the brightness um, but I just pretty much left it in standard mode and yeah it was a really nice monitor to play around with it's it's nice and big, 34 inch ultra wide. Um, it was nice, crisp, clear. It's good value for money, relatively simple to use. Doesn't shout gamer. Uh, the ROG ones, for example, they scream gamer. Um, they've got the copper bits, the glowy light. They're a lot more money. If you're looking for a good value for money, 34 inch ultra wide. I'm going to put a link down below for this one, definitely, as to where you can grab one. So there we go, guys. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, don't forget, click that subscribe button. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all again shortly.